Alright guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to look at the add-on called Parametric Objects. Some of you guys may already remember this as the Wonder Mesh. And I would like to thank the YouTuber Kevin House who pointed me out in the right direction. Now it's pretty hard to keep a track of all the Blender add-ons. So do me a favour, if you would like something reviewed or maybe you're a developer yourself, just stick a comment down below and I'll catch up. Now Parametric Objects is available free on GitHub or you can buy it on the Blender market for a minimum of $6, which to be fair is a pretty damn good buy. Always support your third party developers, if you can of course. So what's the difference between creating a parametric object and a primitive? Well one thing is kinda non-destructive, and when I say kinda you'll find out why in a second. But you have a lot more options and it can also be animated. So let's just take a look at the add-on and in traditional fashion, let's delete the cube. And we'll probably add one in 5 seconds. So the add-on works very similar to the cube blocker. If you come up to add, you can see here W primitives. And we have a whole bunch of primitive shapes. So I'm going to use W ring just as an example. <laughs> I'm so childish at time. Now down the bottom left here, you can see that we have some parameters. But personally, I like using the object data, which is here. And you can see here, W mesh data. Now I'm going to jump into wireframe to give you a better example of the operator. So I'm going to drop the segmentation down to something like 14. And I'll put the cap up to something like this. Now hopefully you can already start to see what direction I'm going in. I'm going to add in a quick modifier. I'll do a wireframe modifier. I'll just enable boundary and I'll put the thickness down ever so slightly. And I'll hit apply. Now one of the things you need to do if you want to edit the mesh or start changing the topology in edit mode is you need to convert it to a regular mesh. So there's a button here for this. What I'll do is I'll just quickly jump into sculpting. I'll take symmetry off. I'll use the grab tool. Scale it up a bit. I'll just do something like this. And there you go. You've pretty much got a spider web in like, like three clicks. You can also add a subdivision surface if you want to be fancy. Check that out. Anyway, so that's one of the options using W primitives, so let me just clear this from the scene. We'll come up to add W primitives and we'll do something like a tube. Now like I've already mentioned, I prefer using the parameters here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this an animated mesh, just to kind of show you the example. So I'll put the segments up and I'll make it something like uh, 38 will be fine. In the inner radius I'll make it 0 0.8 so we get this kind of tube. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keyframe the section from. So I'll make it 360 to begin with on frame 1. So I'll just right click, set a keyframe. I'll move to frame 60, I'll drop this down to 0 degrees and I'll insert a keyframe here. Now one thing you'll immediately notice is there's no animation. And there is a checkbox here. And you can see here, animated. So when I enable the checkbox, check this out. Now this is a pretty cool method. If you're perhaps want to do MoGraph or something. I really do like this. And one of the advantages of using the W mesh is you can always change the parameters afterwards. So I can actually change down the segment types and check this out. And this is one of the reasons why I actually reviewed this add-on. It's pretty damn powerful. Now, we'll just take a look at one last primitive because hopefully you've got the idea by now. So I'll come up to add W primitives and let's do something like a screw. Now the screw is pretty clever because it's actually in quads, so check this out. So we can change the radius, we can change the inner radius. So we can actually start to get some really nice effects pretty quickly. Put the smoothing segments up. Let's check it out in solid mode. Check that out. That's pretty much the basics of the add-on. Please support the third party developers, I'll put the link in the description down below. I highly recommend it, I suggest it should be in your toolbox. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know what to do.